So you're working on a project and you wanna manage your editing board, here are some tips. Right now you can see that I'm in the middle of a project. I've got a number of text boxes here with a couple extra tracks. We're gonna look at that. But before we do that, notice how I have to scroll up and down. Let's get rid of that problem right there and come up to the top menu here and click on the menu. There's a lot of options there, but the bottom one says edit in full view. Look at the difference here. You get to see the whole board. You get all the tracks that you have. You don't have to scroll up and down to see important things like the finish button and the timeline zoom down there. All right, so we have all these text boxes here because you start with your text boxes. You put your text in there and then you can fill in and move things around, uh, but use the script that you write to have a plan. At this moment in the timeline, I have four tracks in play here, all of them with different content. I have one for the text, one for this graphic, one for this graphic, and one for this graphic. Okay, as I said, I've added some tracks. How did I do that? If you go to the left-hand side, you see a plus sign, just click on the plus. Video and text are handled the same way, so you can put either one on their tracks. Audio has to be an audio track. You can also name it. Uh, depending on whatever your goals are there. So, and you notice that the video went added on top. If you add an audio, it will add under the, the bottom track. Shortening clips is pretty easy. Just select clip and then use the double arrows to either drag it longer or shorter. Some objects have limits to how short or how long they can go. You'll see this a lot when you look at text boxes with animation. The next feature is called a timeline zoom, and you can see it larger up here. It's a slider uh, function located down here in the lower right. What this does is it changes the view of your timeline. It doesn't change the content, but it does change how I see it. If I double tap on the slider, it will bring all of my content across one bottom screen so I can see everything. Transitions are easy. Go right under the transitions menu, uh, check out the options. I highly recommend dip to black, uh, if certainly for more serious presentations, because it just fades in and fades out and it's very clean and does not distract in any way. So you're done and you're ready to get a link to share. You come up to the top in the upper right here, click the finish button. It will give you this screen, which will have options for your thumbnail. Uh, you can change the name of the export. You can choose its format. For us today, we'll do video. The resolution, I highly recommend using HD, high definition. It has great quality. And sometimes if you like, you can share your things to other platforms. I usually give myself a copy in Google Drive. Lastly, down here, this little toggle switch is to make your export public. That way, anyone you send the link to can actually see it. Then you hit export. And depending on how complicated your project is, it may take a minute, it may take 10 minutes. You do not have to sit here and watch it uh, compile. And in the main menu uh, at the left, it says exports. If you click on exports, it'll give you everything you've ever exported. Um, and then you can click it. And when it's ready, you'll see a screen like this. Uh, you can get the link from the social media button here, or you can take it right off the top in the search box. Thank you.